Hello, my name is Lindsay Cummings and I realize by now if you are watching this video, you probably know who I am. Thus, this defeats the purpose of me always introducing myself. I figured it is July, which means to many of you, you may be taking part in Camp NaNoWriMo. Actual NaNoWriMo takes place in November. It is the National Novel Writing Month where everyone tries to write a novel in like 30 something days. I guess that's how long a month is. I was gonna say 50 days, but that's not correct. And in July, a lot of us like to get together and do the same thing. You can either edit a novel, write a novel, do whatever you want, but it's really just an excuse to keep yourself motivated and get work done on a novel. And so I thought it was time for me to resurrect an old video that I had from years ago when I was a little itty bitty baby author just trying to figure out how writing worked, and I created this video called Lindsay Talks a Fast Draft. Since then, I have put that video onto private because it's so embarrassing. So today, in the spirit of Camp NaNoWriMo, I'm gonna be your camp counselor, Lindsay, and I'm gonna teach you about the fast draft. This term is something that I've always loved. It is near and dear to my heart ever since author Candace Havens taught me about it in a class a very long time ago. The Fast Draft has literally saved my life as a contracted author because I just don't have, I don't have a ton of time to write my novels. I have contracts, which means I have due dates for when each draft of the novel is supposed to be turned in by. My editor then needs to take time to read said novel, look for all the crap, and then write me an edit letter saying this book needs a heck of a lot of work. This is where the fast draft comes in and so today I am going to give you five tips for a successful fast draft. I need to articulate fast draft, fast draft, fast draft, fast draft. So everyone get ready, get out your journals or your mental journals. <laughs> And let's get right into it. My memory card filled up and so I'm going to have to re-record all of the things that I just said in the past like two minutes. A fast draft, if you do not know, is when an author literally writes a book as quickly as they possibly can. And this is going to be very useful for you if you are on Camp NaNoWriMo, if you are going to actually do NaNoWriMo in November, or if you just want to write books faster. For me, I typically have about two to three months to write a full novel and get it turned into my editor unless I'm not under contract for a novel, in which case I usually spend between four to six months writing and polishing a novel. For fast draft, it's what I like to do almost every time now because I don't wanna waste time slogging my way through a novel. So tip number one for a fast draft, and this is probably my favorite part of it, let the book suck. This was the hardest lesson for me to learn, and it's because I am a perfectionist when it comes to writing. I don't like any lines to be bad. I don't like my characters to be dull. I don't like my plot to be confusing, although it often is when I'm working on it. And I just don't want it to be a bad book. I don't want anyone to ever look at anything that I've written and be like, this sucks. But funny story, when you are a published author, it almost seems like you get 50-50 responses. No matter what you do, people are gonna either love your work or they're gonna hate it. So I had to get past that a long time ago. For the fast draft specifically, you just have to know that if you're gonna be writing a book quickly, it's okay to let it suck. It is actually the best way to get through the book is to know you don't need your 20 page dramatic dialogue scene that has to be perfect and emotional and make you cry. You don't need your fancy prose, this, you know, crazy writing style that every line is like flowy and like buttery. You just have to know that your book is not gonna be great because you're working through it quickly. You're getting the words down. You can go back later and fix it. And when we're talking about plotting, it leads me to tip number two, and that is plot ahead of time. Before you start working on this novel, before you dive into your fast draft, you're gonna wanna know where in the heck you're going. So what I do is I start with my beginning, my middle, and my end. I figure out those three main important things. I write them down, I have them in a notebook. I have them in a document. I have them somewhere that I can see that I know, okay, here's my goal. I have to start here, I have to move to here, and then I have to end here. But I know for me that as I'm going through the various stages of drafting a novel, I'm gonna get stuck and snagged and I'm gonna fall into a plot hole or the sticky trap of writer's block, which to me is, I don't know where in the heck this story is headed to. So before I dive in, I figure out my beginning, my middle, and my end, some important plot points that link those together. I have a roadmap 
and then I dive in. Tip number three is that I schedule time each day for writing. I have discovered lately that a lot of creative people, a lot of fellow authors, a lot of musicians, a lot of artists, a lot of us thrive on having a schedule. It doesn't matter when or where you write, you just need to figure out a time that works for you. For me, it's usually between the hours of like 10.30 to 12.30 and then between like three and six in between those two, I take a nap. I don't know why I'm moving my hands so much. There's no magical place to writing a book. There's no magical time. Just figure out what is the best thing for you. Number four is don't stress about word count. This goes for you, the ones that are actually in the midst of Camp NaNoWriMo right now or actual NaNoWriMo later, depending on when you're watching this. But everyone I feel like is always stressing to hit that daily word count. And it is an important thing. While you're fast drafting, you know that it's you just trying to get this first draft down on the pages. You just have to get it out. And so it's really about hitting the right plot points, making sure that the scenes matter, that every scene counts towards that end goal. And you don't have to stress about, oh my gosh, I don't know if I've hit a thousand words today or 3,000 words like I wanted to do. What matters to me when I'm fast drafting is that I just get the scenes down. They count, that they matter, and I don't even look at word count. I'll take like a sticky note and I'll cut it and I'll stick it over the word count on my Word document so that I can't see it at all. Because that just stresses me out. It gets me thinking this book is going to be too short or this book is going to be way too long instead of really just trying to finish the book in general. A story doesn't have to be 55,000 words to be incredible. It doesn't have to be 120,000 words to be incredible. You just need the scenes and the plot and the characters to be the magical parts of it, not the word count. Which leads me to tip number five, and that is stop fixing your work. As you are fast drafting, you do not have time to go back through and fix everything. When I first started writing books, I literally could not get past the first few chapters because I was so concerned about it being perfect. Again, that goes back to tip number one of letting the book suck because I had all these incredible books in my mind that I was like, I want my book to be as good as this one. I want my book to be like the next Hunger Games or Harry Potter. Like I want it to be that level good. But when you're fast drafting, you don't have time to worry about it being good. You just are trying to get to the end. Once you get there, then you've, you've made it. <laughs> just write your scenes, write your story. At the end of every day when I'm done writing, I literally save it and then I save it again because I'm paranoid of losing all my work. And then the next day when I go back to writing, I don't read what I wrote the day before. I know some people would say, well, Lindsay, that's not possible because I need to know what I did the day before so I can see where I'm going next. I really think that's just the stress of needing to know if it's quality work. So what I do is I usually just read the paragraph or two paragraphs that I wrote the day before, and then I just move forward. Even if it's bad, even if I don't like it, I keep going because you can fix it all later. Fixing comes into play when you go into draft two or three or four or however many it takes to get the book right, but you need that first draft to be finished so that you have something to work with. I always say that a book is like a puzzle with a bunch of crazy pieces that are missing. Like, you know, when your dog eats one or one falls on the floor and you can like never find it again. But then like two months later, you're cleaning and you find the puzzle piece. And you're like, oh, here it is. Now we can finish this puzzle. That's kind of how editing is for me. My first draft is like this crazy mess of something where it makes no sense, but it kind of makes sense. You can kind of see what it's going to look like. And then later on down the road, you find your missing puzzle piece or pieces and you put them in place and suddenly it's this beautiful image and it all just makes sense. Let the book suck, plot ahead of time, schedule time for writing, do not stress about your word count, and worry about fixing it all later. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about writing, author-ishness, publishing, life in general, please feel free to leave a question in the comments and I will either do a video or respond. I hope you know that I love you, God loves you, don't forget to love yourself, and don't forget to pre-order Zenith because it's coming out on January 16th and it's so pretty. Good luck on your writing and I will see you later. Bye.